Yo, 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 amigos, I'm obviously bringing the 90s back. It's Josh with Project Torture. I'm doing a second particle system tutorial. Last time we made some snow, and it was real pretty and Christmas and white. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make like a sphere type effect. We're going to add some color to our particle system. I'll show you how. Right click, create a material. I'm going to name it test because I'm bored. We're going to jump right in because we don't care. Now, first things first, I'm a realist. I'm not even going to do that again. Right click, radial, gradient exponential just like last time just like last time but we're gonna need that particle collar i think i spoke of it but i didn't really jump into it but we're gonna do it this time oh we're jumping in so multiply a few of them so multiply let's go ahead and control c control v and then drag all this stuff back like this and get yourself one more right there yes so real quick let's Oh, first, definitely go to your material. It does not need to be opaque. It needs to be translucent, and it needs to be unlit because we don't want any light to affect it. We can plane to see what we got going on here. So the alpha of our particle collar and this radial, grad radial gradient exponential into opacity. And then we'll plug the top here into that, also multiplied by this radial gradient exponential. I love that word. It's all smart. Now, we're going to plug this into the bottom here. Now, we're going to do this. We've done this a few times. If you remember, type in the word time, type in the word sign, and type in the word bias. And it basically adds that pulsating effect. And I know I've done it a bunch. And I know, you know repetitive things can get boring. But you, hey, this is my tutorial. This is my tutorial. I'm doing how I want. Just playing. But seriously, let's jump in. Look at it pulsating now. But ding, but ding. One is going to be 0.5. The double time, half time, whatever. Two and one. So now I kind of got it doing what it's doing. It's like a white and then a glowy white and then a white and then a glowy white. And we're done. Bam. Save. Go back. We're going to go ahead and create our particle system now. Jump back into the main window here. Right click. Particle system. We'll name it effect enter jump in so first things first whoa i'm not doing that again type data new gpu sprites oh yeah save it restart your sim your level whatever not let's go in here where it says required and pick our material we name it test didn't we well i hope we did so let's go in here and wait for it to load up here we want to see all kind of little white dot balls kind of doing our thing here there they go now look at this initial velocity if i exit it you'll it'll it'll take away its effect and that's not what i want i want a sphere so we're going to just you know what i'm going to delete that module and we are going to add a location. And we're going to go to sphere. Yes. Now, you see what's going on there, right? Well, this 50 ain't going to do it. I was thinking about mm, 3,000. Big old number. You're like, I don't see any dots. I'm going to tell you why. You go to spawn. You're only spawning 20. Nah. That's not going to do a five. Jeez. Maybe. Five. And three zeros. It's got a big old ball full of dots. We've been dotting all day. That's what I'm talking about. We got a little excitement to that, though. I'd like all those dots to kind of be getting sucked inside of that ball. You know what I'm saying? Like a gravitational pull. So right-click attraction. Point gravity. Wasn't that, in yeah, wasn't that easy? You're just like, oh, wow, anything I want at my fingertips. LOL. 4,000 on the radius. 4,000 on the contrast of the strength. Bam, son. That's what I'm talking about. You don't be scared. We got things going on now. Okay, so we can just save that because I like it. We're going to go to color over life and we're gonna start playing with this now let's go to our distribution it's set to white that's fine we got two points a starting point and an ending point so here's our starting point it's pretty simple i want to think one red one green but five on the blue oh yes doing stuff huh don't mind that do you let's scroll down and look at our second point let's see what it's doing hmm it's also white i'm not thinking white i'm thinking 1.5 0.5 and 0.5 so it's kind of going into a pink there in the middle you see that huh is that kind of doing it for you so we got like a bluish purple blue it fades into a blue now you can adjust these collars and make it doing bigger and bigger things and you can spawn it and you can change the size go to start size here and it's it's 25 by 20. you could change all these to maybe 55 and then we got all kind of giant dots doing things we can save Restart the level, whatever not. Actually, go to your bounds, set fixed bounds, and save everything again so you don't have any problems, okay? And then we'll just go ahead and exit out of here, drag it into our level, and see if it does exactly what we want, or at least close. I'll drag it in about right there, and then I'll back away and I'll look at it. Maybe bring it over here on top of my little thingy here, a little orange thingy. And there we go. We got like a uh, type of particle effect that we made straight out of our own resources. We didn't have to use anything extravagant. And there you go. You can fly through it and see the gravity taking over and just pulling into the middle there, and yes, Particle Systems number two is a success. Hope you guys learned some stuff, man. I'll be back on here in a few days, uh, Thursday, Friday, something like that, and I'll have another tutorial. I think we may jump back to blueprints. I don't know. We're going different directions, but hey, thanks for watching again. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about Particle Systems and Cascade and the Unreal Engine 4. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page, and I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me personally. I'd be glad to help. Thanks. Have a blessed day.